Good evening, everyone. This is Arthur Robinson Jr. I am the creator of PowerfulInterviews.com. I want to welcome each and every one of you to this video. In this video, you're going to experience life-changing information that you won't find anywhere else. I'm doing an incredible interview with a great friend of mine. His name is Raymond Aaron, and Raymond Aaron is a professional speaker. He is a writer, and also he has an incredible book called Double Your Income, Doing What You Love. In this exclusive interview that I'm going to reveal to you, Raymond Aaron talks about the seven steps of having a successful life and double your income, doing what you love, and much, much more. So right about now, go get your pen and your pad, sit back and relax, and write down some notes. This information I'm going to reveal to you with my great friend, Raymond Aaron, is going to change your life. So check it out. Good evening, everyone. This is Arthur Robinson, Jr., and tonight I have another special treat just for you. Tonight I have a wonderful person on the call, and he's a great friend of mine. His name is Raymond Aaron. And for those that don't know Raymond Aaron, let me get you familiar with him. Raymond Aaron, the nation's number one success and investment coach, has committed his life to teaching people just like you how to utilize his powerful goal-setting strategies and life management tools to dramatically change your life for the better. One of the most sought-after speakers in North America, for over 20 years, Raymond has shared his vision and wisdom on hundreds of North American radio and TV programs. Author of numerous books, most recently, Double Your Income, Doing What You Love, Raymond is also co-author of the New York Times best-selling book, Chicken Soup for the Canadian Soul, and Chicken Soup for the parent soul, acknowledged real estate master, member of international enlisted and Canadian who's who entrepreneurs. In April 2007, completed a 350-mile foot race to the magnetic North Pole, and that is an awesome resume. And without further ado, I'd like to welcome Raymond Aaron to the call. My pleasure. I'm glad to be here. Well, I'd like to thank you, Raymond, once again for taking time out your busy schedule to educate my listeners about the power of goal setting and your powerful book, Double Your Income, Doing What You Love. I gladly appreciate it. Well, Arthur, I'm not taking time out of my schedule. This is what my life's about. My life is about making sure that the people that I get through to, the people who find out about me either directly or through wonderful people like you, Arthur, they, they learn how to dramatically improve their life, double their income, doing what they love, set their goals in a totally unique way, so unique that they actually have their goals achieve themselves with no apparent work on their own part. Well, what I would like to know, and can you educate my listeners in regards to who you are and what we're actually going to learn from you tonight in regards to the power of goal setting? Well, you see, everybody writes goals the wrong way. First of all, almost nobody writes goals. Let's start right from the beginning, Arthur. If I said to you, and you can respond on behalf of your listeners, if I said to you, do you think you have a better chance of achieving your goals if you actually write them down, what would you say? I would say yes. Yeah, everybody would say yes. They don't know how. They've never done any surveys. They've never done any research on it. But everybody has the conviction that if you write your goals down, you'll achieve them. And then I say to people, do you write your goals down? They say no. And I say, well, do you want to achieve your goals? They say, of course. I say, well, if you, of course, want to achieve your goals, and you know you've got a greater chance of achieving them if you write them down, why don't you write them down? And they don't know the answer, but I do. I know why people don't write their goals down, and I've overcome that. And I know when they write them down how they write them down wrong, and I figured out how to write them down right so correctly that they'll actually have their goals achieve themselves. Other people call me from all over the world. They phone me, they Skype me, they email me, they fax me, and they say, Raymond, you won't believe it. I wrote my goals your way, and in the first month, some of my goals that I've been wanting to achieve for 20 years have come true in the very first month. And they say, I don't even have a word to describe it. And so I made one up. And the word is automagically. 
when you write your goals my patented way, and I'll be, and I'll reveal all that on this show. I'll reveal everything on this on this uh, uh, call so that your listeners can get everything. Uh, they will achieve their goals automatically. That's my commitment to you. Can you explain to my listeners how would you define aspiration? An aspiration is a goal without a deadline. It's a wish, it's a hope, and it's somewhat useless. Hmm. Can you get into when did you decide to become a man of value? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. I graduated from the university as a physicist. Hmm. And I immediately got a very high-paying job as a computer consultant. And after 17 years, I was very unhappy with my life. It didn't seem to be going anywhere. I got lots of praise from my employers. I got lots of raises and high salary. I got lots of perks. The clients of the companies I was working for thought that I was wonderful. And inside, it was empty. I didn't know why it was empty. And one day, while I was on vacation in Mexico, in the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico, in a Mayan ruin called Chichen Itza, it's a, it's a pyramid. You may not know the name, but if you see the photograph, you'll recognize the pyramid. It's a Mayan pyramid in Mexico. I was sitting on top of the pyramid, and I got a message that I was to be a teacher. And I had no idea what the message meant. I didn't want to be a teacher. I, I, I thought I should be a physicist, but, you know, try arguing with God. So I came down. I tried to get jobs as a teacher. Nobody would hire me because I didn't have a teacher certificate. And then one day somebody said to me, gee, I love your ideas. I was just talking to a friend over dinner, and they said, other friends of mine would like to hear your ideas. And I said, well, so what? I'm not going to invite them to dinner. And he convinced me to rent a hotel room and invite his friends and maybe some others and I did, and they loved it. I had no idea. And that was 27 years ago. For 27 years, I've been teaching the wisdom that comes through me to other people around the world. I've been teaching right across Canada and the United States, right across Australia, New Zealand, England, Ireland, Dubai, and next month, India, and Abu Dhabi. How old were you then, Raymond? I, well, I'm 65 years old now. And so that was 27 years ago. <laughs> Can you explain to my listeners what was your learning model earlier in your career? My learning model earlier in my career, or before my speaking career started, was taking a course studying really hard and doing well and having it be no benefit in my life. And my learning model now, which is of wild benefit and always works and moves me enormously forward in life, is mentoring. I find someone who is brilliant at the thing that I want to be great at and then I follow them. I do whatever they say, even if it sounds crazy. I do whatever they say, and my life sails forward. In fact, I wrote a book on mentoring, and I wrote a, and it's the same book that reveals all of my brilliant ideas on how to write goals so they'll actually achieve themselves automatically. And I've created a special website just for your listeners at a gigantic discount. The book is called Double Your Income, Doing What You Love, and it's on sale at uh, $24 on Amazon, but I've arranged it for only $5 for your listeners. It's a, a wild discount. They can't get that anywhere else. And they can just go to my website, monthlymentor.com, monthlymentor.com slash double. Now, don't go to monthlymentor.com because that's where you'll... 